Hello everybody, this is Mr. McAllen again, and uh, I did a four-part series on how to take derivatives implicitly, finding first and second derivatives, and now I'm going to do some sample homework problems with you, uh, where in the first question, we have three questions basically, in the first question it's just a simple equation of a circle, in the next uh, two equations, I don't know how to characterize them, um, because I just made them up, and found points for them, but we're going to basically be finding the derivatives at points for these functions. So the first thing we need to do is do implicit. So we're going to do um, di differentiate both sides. So we'll take the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus y squared, and um, we'll take the derivative with respect to x of 25. And for the first part, we get 2x plus 2y. Remember the y prime, because that's dy dx. Uh, using the chain rule, we get 0. And we're going to solve for y prime. So I'll just leave 2y, y prime on one side. I'll subtract over the 2x. Um, and now I divide both sides by uh, 2y. The 2's cancel, and my derivative is equal to negative x over y. So if you want to know what the slope is, um, I'm sorry, I switched back to the uh, the y, dy dx notation. I'll just write y prime again is equal to negative x over y. And y prime would be, if you plug in uh, 0, neg 0, 5, you're going to get negative 0 over 5. So at this point, you must be at the top of the circle. So if we look at our circle that's centered, well, that's not a bad circle, that's centered at uh, 0, 0 with a radius of 5. We must be at 0, 5. Oh, that makes sense. Oops, deleted that. Um, we have a slope of 0. So moving right along uh, to our next problem, we have, um, we could guess, we could ask Wolfram Alpha to plot this function so we could see what it actually is. But in this case, we have a little bit of a product rule going on here between the two functions. So I'm going to use the differential operator again x squared, y squared equals the derivative with respect to x is 16. So we've got a little product rule going on here. So we have 2x times y squared plus leave the x squared alone, take the derivative of y squared, and you get uh, 2y, and don't forget the y prime. Whenever you have a function other than what you're taking the derivative with respect to, as in this case, taking the derivative of y with respect to x, we've got to put in that y prime term. So now we've just got to clean up and solve for d uh, y prime. So we're going to subtract. I'm just going to collect my terms and put them in a nice order. I have 2y x squared y prime. Let me fix that. I have 2x y squared plus 2x squared y y prime equals 0. I'm going to subtract um, the 2xy squared over, and I'm going to divide out um, this portion. So I'll have y prime is equal to negative 2xy over two x y squared over two x squared y and the twos will cancel and I'll have x y squared over x squared y I still have a negative sign there and now I plug in my x and y value so my derivative at x equals negative one y equals four will be plug in values people it's negative 1 squared over 4 so I have um, negative actually these negatives make positive so I'm gonna have 16 over 4 I should have a slope of 4 next problem okay this one is kind of a beast um, x, y plus um, 10 of x, y 
when we take the derivative of that, um, I think I forgot something on this equation. I should have equals, I don't know, 3. So this one, we just want to find the derivative. So this, the, equa the, uh, the homework for this is find y prime. So this one is a bit tricky because we haven't done one yet with a uh, trig function. So we're going to do the differential operator again. We're going to go nice and slow with this one. So I'm going to write d dx of xy plus d dx of tan of xy. And I don't know if you realize this, but we're going to end up getting into a little chain rule with that second part. So the derivative of the first part is just going to be um, 1 times y plus, leave the x alone, and now we have y prime, plus uh, the derivative of tangent is going to be secant squared of xy. Remember, you do the derivative of the outermost function, evaluate it at its inner, times the derivative of its inner. And this is the part um, where the derivative of xy is going to be like it was before in the beginning of the problem, um, 1y plus xy prime. So now we've got the task of solving for y prime. So this is what you have to do. This quantity has to be multiplied by both of these. So this is the part that most kids will have difficulties with. y plus xy prime plus secant squared of xy times the y. Now that y should be put out in front so you don't confuse it with multiplying by the independent variable of secant squared. Plus xy prime. I'm going to actually do that for the second part. I'm going to put this out in front of secant squared of xy equals 0. Now I've got to solve for y prime, so I'm going to collect all my terms up that have a y prime in it. So everything goes over to one side. I'm going to leave x y prime on the left plus x y prime times secant squared of x y. That will stay on the left. And these terms will go to the right. This term and this term will go to the right by subtraction. So I'm going to have minus y minus secant squared of x y. And remember, there's a y out in front there. That I said I was going to put out in front. Now I just have to factor out my y primes. I'll change to black ink this time. So I'm going to factor out my y primes. And I'll leave in blue what was inside. x plus x secant squared of xy. And that equals negative y minus y secant squared of xy. Now I'm going to just divide out that part. So my final answer, I have y prime is equal to negative y minus y secant squared of xy all over x plus secant squared of xy. No, hold on, i got to have that x there. So some people will ask the question, and uh, can we do anything to simplify this? And of course, you see that there's a y in both. So you can factor out a y. And in the bottom, you can factor out an x. But this is as simple as the problem gets for y prime. Hopefully, these three homework problems were of help. I'll just zoom out so we can see what we've done in a short amount of time. Um, you know, we worked on three simple problems, a circle, um, another type of equation, and then a tricky trig problem. So hopefully this has helped you, and um, look forward to hearing from your comments about what you thought of this video. Um, again, these are three typical types of problems that you'll be required to do using implicit. Take care.